Hey guys, today I have a lug video for you. So what I wanted to show you today is I wanted to compare the freestyle slider to the original sliders. So what I wanted to do is just show you some side-by-side -side comparisons, what all they can fit, and also my thoughts and the differences and the similarities in the two. Obviously a big difference is the material. So I wanted to go over my thoughts about each one of them and also show you how they wear on the body. So let's just go ahead and get started comparing and reviewing the slider versus the freestyle slider. So first I have the slider freestyle in the diamond white pattern, and then I want to compare it to the original slider that is in the Heather Indigo. So first let's look at them side by side. There's a little bit of a difference in the size of them. So the freestyle looks to be a little bit shorter than the original slider does. And then you can look at a side by side comparison of the two. Let me get this strap out of the way. These are completely packed up. Now one of the differences in this freestyle fabric is some of the things that are in there, you can kind of see them kind of coming out of the fabric because this is such a loose and like mesh fabric, more like a stretchy fabric. You can see that you can pack something in here, kind of like your garbage bags that have that flex force. And so you can like see things that are coming out of it. This is kind of the same way. It has a lot of give to it since it doesn't have that structure. You can pack a few more things in there, but you can kind of see the outline of some of the things that you have. That's one of the differences of the freestyle to the original. The original has all this structure to it. So you're not going to be able to see an outline of any of the things that you have in here. So that is one of the differences as well, but you can see these are completely packed and they are about the same width. And then I will just show you the bottom of there. The difference obviously is that the original slider has four feet at the bottom of them and the freestyle fabric does not have any of that at the bottom. They are similar on the side, but it just appears that the original slider is a little bit taller. And then if I put them in front of each other, you can see that they are the same width as well. So they are very comparable in size. This one just appears to be a little bit taller than the freestyle one does. So then let's next just compare the straps. So the strap on the freestyle is quite a bit wider than the strap on the original. You can see if I put this on top of it, that is the difference. There's a little bit of a difference, maybe an inch difference in the strap. So this is a thicker strap on the Freestyle Edition. This is thinner on the original and it's also not as wide on the original one. Another difference that the original slider has is it does have that magnetic closure at the top that is felt lined for your cell phone. This does not have this on the front, but they are very similar in the front that they both have these two zipper areas on the front. So in the original one, it's gunmetal zippers with gunmetal pulls. And when you open it up, it has the lining that's on the inside. Same thing with the front one as well has the lining on the inside that matches the lining throughout the bag. Also has this quilting detail on the front. Obviously the freestyle material does not have that quilting detail because of the fabric that it's made out of, but this does have the quilting design at the front of it and it's a little bit of a different color than the back of it. So this is the Heather Indigo in the back and this is more of the flat blue that you see in the front. So it does have a different fabrication from this very front panel to the back of it. And it has your regular metal lug logo on the front. And then the freestyle edition has your little rubber lug logo on the front of it. So those are some of the similarities and differences in the front of the bag. And then if you turn it around to the back of the bag, they have, both have a back zipper area that runs the entire length and width of the bags. As you can see, it has that back zipper pocket. In the original, it does have two pin slots in the back of it and it has your really nice open area in the back. And let me mention that the zippers on the Freestyle Edition are going to match the fabric. So this, these are white, but they do have the gunmetal pulls. So they, so the zippers on all of these will be tonal and with the gunmetal pulls. And then on the original, it is gunmetal zippers with gunmetal pulls. So I don't know if that makes a difference with any of you guys. And then also a difference is on the side of this, it has this little bit of reinforcement because of this material so that it doesn't pull and rip or anything like that. It does have a little bit of reinforcement where the straps go. So this does not have that, but it's not needed on this fabrication. Let's just go ahead and dive into the inside. I can also, as we go through, just empty this and show you how this is going to also look when it's completely empty as well. So I kind of wanted to show you how I packed this because I did pack it pretty full because I wanted to just kind of see if you could see that some of the stuff that you will see in here will make a little bit of an imprint. It's not as noticeable 
on this light bag as it would be maybe some of your darker bags. You could kind of see an imprint of some of the things that are in there. I'm just going to take everything that I have in the freestyle slider and I'm just going to put it back into this original slider and then I'm going to see if this height the difference that it has in the front and that extra pocket in the front is actually going to make a difference in the capacity of what it can hold. But because of this is more of a stretchy fabric, you could probably hold as much even though this is a little bit taller, a little bit bigger than this one. I feel like you're going to be able to fit the same amount of stuff in here. So I'm just going to take everything out of here, put it in here and see if there is any more room left in the original one to pack some more things in here. So this first zipper area, I just have a pair of sunglasses and I purposely put them in the front just to see if it made any kind of difference about them poking out or anything like that. And all the stuff that is inside does kind of come into the two front compartments and the back compartment too. And I just wanted to make sure that that didn't make any kind of difference or anything like that. So I have a pair of sunglasses in the front part and I will just stick those in the front part of the original slider. And then on this second zipper area right here, I put an extra battery to charge the phone. And then I also wanted to check and see if keys would poke into this material and put a hole in it or anything like that. So I put my keys in there and they are sharp keys nothing poked in here or anything like that so it did not damage the fabric at all with the regular pair of keys if that was a question that anybody had if keys might poke through this material because it is more of your softer material a little bit of a pliable material it does not i did not have any problem with the keys poking in there causing holes or anything like that and then i also have an extra set of keys in here as well and then I also have a chapstick in here. That was all I had in the front of those two pockets and I'm just gonna convert those into the original one. So I transferred everything from the front of this bag to the front of the original slider bag. And then in the back, I actually have one of the notepads that came in the spring box. So a full size notepad will fit in the back pocket. And then I laid a pen down there as well. Now, one of the differences that the original had was that the original had a pen holder. So this also fits in there really nicely. And so does the pen in the original. And that zips up very well. I wanted to go ahead and show you while this one is empty, the inside of the original slider. It has two cargo pockets in the back and the freestyle has the same, but one of the differences that the original slider has that the freestyle does not is it does have that clear zipper area that you have in the front and i kind of do miss that that is one of the features that i do really like i like to put my lip gloss my lotions things in there that i can see real easily and if they do leak out or anything like that i don't have to worry about them getting it all over everything that's in the back so i do miss that the freestyle bag does not have that clear plastic area but that is one of the things the original slider does have is that front and it also has a key bungee as well in the original slider. So that's what the inside of the original slider looks like. It's got your clear plastic zipper area and two cargo pockets in the back. The inside of the freestyle does not. So let me just go ahead and get my ibuprofen out of there. So it was in one of the cargo pockets. I always have to carry that around. And then I also carry around a foot spray because in the summertime, your feet get sweaty, you just want to cool them off. Any kind of peppermint, foot spray, anything like that is really nice to refresh in those and they don't feel real sweaty during the summertime. And then also, I also have a face cooling spray, setting spray, makeup spray. It also has an SPF of 30 in it, so I like to carry this around in the summertime as well. As I'm refreshing my skin throughout the day, I'm also putting a little bit of SPF back in it as well. So that was what I had in one of the cargo pockets at the inside of this. And then in the other one, I just have my contact solution, an extra set of contacts, a contact case, and then my lip gloss. My lip gloss I would normally have in the clear plastic area, but I had it in one of the cargo pockets inside of this one since this one doesn't have the clear plastic area. And then also has some hand sanitizer. So that's what was in the two inside cargo pockets of the Freestyle, and I just transferred those back into the cargo pockets of the original slider. I was also able to fit a coupe inside of here, no problem. And then I also have an Eco Shopper in the Rainbow Navy. And then I also have the new vegan leather white trim that I picked up. I love this wallet. I really, really do like this one. And someone had mentioned in one of the comments on one of my other videos that they had this and that their bills would not fit in here. I don't usually carry cash, so that's usually not a problem for me, but, um, it does fit in here. I had a large bill. She said that she had a problem and she would have to fold it. So I'm not sure if there were some that were made a little bit differently, but I have a bill that will fit in here just nicely. Um, but I do like this tram wallet. So I did show this to you in the haul. And I just wanted to tell you that after I have used it, I do really like this tram. 
And then, as you can see, this is so soft and, you know, it's just pretty much has no shape to it at all. And then I have a hair claw. Those are all the things that I was able to put in this freestyle slider. So as you can see, when there is nothing in it, it has no shape or form to it. It kind of just lays there, which makes it really nice when you're storing it. You can just kind of like even fold it up and store it that way if you want to. But um, I do like the slouchy look of this. So this was really nice because it just has your open compartment. Like I said, one of the things um, that I do miss that I really like in all the other lug bags is that clear plastic area that you don't have in this one. So, I mean, there's the inside of it. It's just pretty much shapeless and you, it just kind of fits and forms around whatever you have in this. So, I have carried this for a couple of weeks now. I wanted to wear it out, see how I liked it after a few weeks of wearing it, see if I still liked it because I was really excited about getting this. I really like the freestyle fabric when I got the packable backpack. I love it in the packable backpack. So, I wanted to see it in some other bags, and so I was really excited when they came out with it in the slider bag. So, I've been wearing it, been testing it out, seeing how well I like it. I do like that slouchy look of it. I love how it looks on the body, and I do like that you have this one big, huge compartment that you can kind of just feel, and it kind of does give, so you can put a little bit more things in there than if you had a more structured bag, maybe. But I do really like this. I think it's really, really nice. I like to wear this as a shoulder bag. I do not really like to wear the original slider as a shoulder bag, just because I feel like it, it's real easy to slide off of your shoulder. But this one, because it has that thicker strap, does not come off your shoulder easy. And I really like the way it looks as a shoulder bag, as opposed to how it looks as a crossbody. But I did wear it both ways. It felt comfortable both ways. I really did like the way it looked both ways, but I will wear the original slider crossbody. I will not wear it on the shoulder, but I will wear this over the shoulder because it's really nice and that slouchy look is just, just so great. So overall, I do really like this freestyle edition. I know a lot of people have had mixed reviews on it. They don't like it. They think it picks too easily. I had keys in here and they didn't poke through or anything like that, even though I would stick the keys in the front, stuff the middle really full, it still didn't poke through the material or anything like that. I like how it has that little bit of give to it so you can pack a lot of stuff in there. Now, I want wanted to show you because I'm actually surprised by this, but I emptied everything from the freestyle and I put it in the original. As you can see, this was a little bit taller than the other one. And so you can see it has a little bit of a height difference to it as I showed you in the beginning. So I just knew that everything was gonna fit in here and probably have room, but I want you to look at the inside of this. I'm actually having a problem putting everything in this one. And I'm believing that the reason is because this is not really gonna zip real well. See, when I zip this, I have my little hair claw kind of sticking up at the top. This does not hold as much, even though it looks a little bit higher as the freestyle. And I believe the reason is because you got that give in the freestyle material where you can kind of pack more things in that. So I do like that about that. I did think that there would be more things to be able to fit in here, but you can see this is really packed all the way completely packed. You're not gonna be able to pack anything else in there. And it's actually gonna make the cell phone a little bit tighter when you put your cell phone in here, the way I have it packed in the middle. So that is one of the things that I like about the freestyle is you're gonna be able to pack it full and give, have a little bit of give to it. So you maybe pack a few extra things in there without having any kind of problem. So that's the comparison between the original to the freestyle edition. And then I wanna also show you how it wears on the body. So I'm gonna show you how the freestyle completely packed up wears as a shoulder bag and a crossbody bag. And then I will show you the same completely packed for the original slider as well. I wanted to show you how this freestyle slider looks like on the body, so I am 5'5 five five for reference. And the way I have it right now is adjusted as short as it can get. And I do really like the length of it. So this is a really nice shoulder bag length. It can't get any shorter than this, so it can't be one of those really short ones. But I do like the length of this where it hits right at the hip. And I also like that it has a little bit of a wider strap, so I don't really have to worry about it sliding off your shoulder. Sometimes when you get the little thinner straps, that are not so wide, then you do have to sometimes worry about the shoulder bags slipping off your shoulders, depending on the type of material you're wearing on your clothing for that day. But I don't think that I'm gonna have to worry about that at all. I do really like to wear this as a shoulder bag. And like I said, I've been trying this out for a couple of weeks now to see how I like it. And I've worn it both crossbody and shoulder style. And I don't mind it at all shoulder style. I do prefer crossbody better just to be hands-free and not have to worry about it falling off or anything. So here is the front look. And then here you can see from the side, how it looks from the side, adjusted as short as it can get. And then I also wanted to show you how it looks crossbody. 
Now keep in mind, this is one of your wider ones and it's a little bit thicker. So anytime you get some of these lug bags that have the wider strap that's thicker, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult at first to start adjusting it to the crossbody. It doesn't slide as easy as some of the thinner ones. So here it is, crossbody, and I really like the way it lays as well. Again, that really nice wide strap is really nice and comfortable. So here is how I would wear it. I really like for it to hit right there at the hip. It can adjust a lot longer. I have this much room to adjust it even longer. So if you really want it long, then you have a lot of room to adjust it. But here's how it looks crossbody. And from the side, this is how it would look crossbody. Again, I'm 5'5 five five for reference. So this is how the freestyle slider looks like on the body. So now I'm going to show you how the regular slider looks like on the body. So this is adjusted first as short as it can get and so it looks like it's about the same length as the freestyle one is when it's adjusted as short as it can get but you can see it's got a little bit more structure to it and then here's a side view as well as opposed to the freestyle has a little bit more of a slouchy look. These straps are a little bit thinner and they're not as wide as the other straps on the freestyle edition. I usually will wear this one crossbody just because this one's a little bit thinner and sometimes I do worry about it sliding off a little bit more than I do with that freestyle edition strap. So let me adjust this, which see as you can see this is much easier to adjust because it's thinner and not as wide. And so then here it is adjusted as a crossbody bag. Here is where the adjustment is. So we have this much more that we can adjust it. So it can go much longer if you want it much longer. But this is how I like it on my hip. And so this is how it looks crossbody. Again, has a little bit more structure to it. Not as splotchy of a look. And then you can see that it does have that feet on there when you're looking at it from the side as well. So here is how the original slider looks on the body. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video on the freestyle slider versus the original slider. And I just thought that I would compare the two of them because I do like the organization of the slider. I think it's a really good sized medium crossbody bag. Really, really nice. So I just wanted to compare it for you because the freestyle material is a new material and the slider is a really great bag. And I did want to just show you the differences in a freestyle, the less structured, more slouchy look versus the structured and how it looks on the body. So I did those comparisons. So I hope it's helpful to you to see the comparisons between the freestyle to the original slider. One of the things I thought that the freestyle was missing was the plastic inside compartments, the key bungee and the cell phone area. I really do miss those. I like those in all of the lug bags but I did really like that slouchy look and I liked the freestyle bag as a shoulder bag over the original slider. So I hope this video has been helpful to you and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.